Hi students! Thank you for watching our YouTube videos in a weekly basis. Thank you for subscribing at my YouTube channel. Appreciate much. So today I have good topic for you. I believe you have problems in self-confidence, right? So before we start, I have three questions for you. Number one, are you a shy type student? Question number two, do you have self-confidence problem? And question number three, how do we improve your self-confidence? So, yung tatlong question na yan, sasagutin natin later in this video. And I will be direct, concise, but will provide example so that yung question na yan, will be answered and of course your self-confidence will be improved okay all right so are you ready to watch the full video if yes so let's get started Welcome back to our video. So let's let's answer the question. Are you a shy type student? Well, that is normal. Marami talagang shy type student nowadays. Honestly, I was one of them. Uh, the reason bakit shy type student tayo, it's because of our upbringing. Siguro namana natin sa parents natin yung the way tayo na pinalaki ng parents. E medyo hindi tayo na-expose to other people. Hindi tayo na-expose to, to socialize. No? Masyadong strict yung parents natin. As a resort, hindi tayo nakalabas sa bahay. So with that, uh, mahihain na tayo na person. That's the reason why some of us or some of you are shy type students. Also, maybe because you are an introvert person. So, you love to be alone. So, ayaw mo nang may kasama. So, again and again, ma nakuha mo yan sa upbringing, sa influence, environmental influence, and sa parents mo. Right? So, moving forward to question number two. Do you have self-confidence problem? Well, the answer is yes. Yan ang problema talaga ng students, yung walang self-confidence. Especially when in terms of public speaking, class reporting, oral recitation, yan talaga ang weakness ng mga students. Walang self-confidence in expressing themselves, especially in uh, English language, no? Kasi mahirapan tayo mag-English. Mahirapan tayo mag-explain. So, meron tayong fear of criticism, fear of committing mistakes, something like that. Question number three. Ano ba ang way or how to improve our self-confidence? Well, students, I have five tips for you. So, ano yung ans answer dyan sa question na yan? Or how do we improve our self-confidence? Tip number one. Change your mind setting. So, it's time to change students. So, ang first year mo to 20 years of life, it means for aged 1 to 20, masyado kang mahihain. So, it's time for you, student, to change your mind setting. So, inject sa mind mo na it's time to change. Kailangan ka mag-move out from your comfort zone to your strength zone. So, time to change from shy type person to a self-confident person. 
it's a matter of mind setting lang yan, student. So, whatever you think, the result is you are in your best version of yourself. So, if you think you're good, then the result is good. Something like that. So, tip number two. Inject in your mind that you are the best person over others. Inject in your mind that you can do better than other people. Something like that. So, importante yan, no? Para mag, para ma-improve your self-confidence mo. Think that you are the best. You are the top one. You are the brightest over other people. Ganyan lang yan, students. So, okay? Alright? So, tip number three. Make good friends and learn from them. So, yan yung technique ko before when I was a shy type student. Ang ginawa ko before, nakipag-friends ako sa mga bright students and good students. So, I observe them and I learn from them. So, yan yung technique para maka ma-improve yung self-confidence mo. So, yan ang gawin mo para ma-improve yung self-confidence mo. Make good friends. Select good friends. So, be sure na they are brighter than you, smarter than you, and from that, you will learn from them. So, yan yung one way of improving your self-confidence. Tip number four. Use non-verbal communication when you speak. So, para ma-improve yung self-confidence mo, when you speak to other people, like your classmates, or you speak to your professor, use eye contact when you speak, hand gestures when you speak, body movements when you speak. Because doing that, that is a sign of a self-confident person. Okay, so moving forward to tip number five, self-motivation. Yes, importante yan, students, kailangan i-motivate mo yung self mo. How? Motivate yourself to do tip number one to tip number four. Doing that, students, you will certainly improve your self-confidence. Trust me. I'm the living example to that. I'm not the brightest, I'm not the smartest person in our workplace, in our school, but 100% self-confident ako, students. Pagdating sa self-confidence, 100% talaga. So, walang tatalo sa akin sa self-confidence. I could communicate to other people, I could speak, to other people, I could express myself to other people, kahit foreigner pa yan, kahit other nationalities, I could express myself, I could speak straight English to them. It's a matter of mind setting, it's a matter of injecting in your mind that you are the best, that you are the top one, and practice lang yan. And using hand gestures when you speak, I contact to them, and self motivation. Okay, so students, now you know the five tips. Hope you learn from our topic today. Sana magtulong ako sa problema niyo sa self confidence. So good luck, God bless, and apply what you learn today. Two thumbs up. Bye.